The 2019 iteration of The Legend of Whitesnake that premiered last month was one of the most hyped dramas from this spring. It starred Alan Yu as the main male lead and Ju Jing Yi as Whitesnake and built up a lot of anticipation even before it ever aired. Perhaps that was one of the reasons why fans have been complaining about this new version, because their expectations for this drama was high. The many complaints has led to the show's producer to respond to the criticisms and explain the production team's decisions. Indeed, when I watched the first few episodes of The Legend of Whitesnake a month ago, I did notice some of the complaints that netizens had been talking about. By the way, I should preface that I didn't think this new adaptation was as bad as some people have made it out to be. Anyways, the first criticism that many people had with this new version was the picture style. I saw this right away as well. The colors were washed out a la Instagram style filter, and while the preview trailers also had some degree of this post-production editing, the final product that eventually aired seemed to have this effect turned all the way up. Listen, I appreciate artistic styling as much as the next guy, but subtlety is usually the best policy when it comes to cinematography. Even I thought it was a bit too extreme. Perhaps it was the lighting in certain scenes versus others, and they just applied a uniform filter into every shot, but that's still no excuse and just implies laziness. It's like the director saw the post-edit trailers and thought, yes, that looks good. Can we get it on a full blast, please? The final product looks campy and childish, and I was disappointed by this when I first started watching The Legend of Whitesnake. It wasn't every scene affected, but it was very noticeable in certain ones. All of the dark tones were crushed, and we were left with this hyper matte look that made even the beautiful Ju Jing Yi look unflattering. So tragic. In the interview, the show's producers claimed that there was some sort of upload quality issue and that it's been fixed after they re-uploaded the video. I'm not sure if this has actually been fixed or not, or if they intend on fixing it at all. Let me know in the comments below if you hear anything or notice anything different. The next complaint netizens made was that the story deviated too much from the 1992 New Legend of White Snake, which it was supposedly based on. Key scenes were allegedly left out or changed too much, to which producer Liu Guimei responded that they tried to modernize the story of White Snake and that it was not supposed to be a shot for shot reenactment of the original. I think that's fair to say, but they shouldn't have marketed it in the beginning as the official remake to the 1992 version then. I think the team was trying to do too much here by trying to pull in fans of the original and subsequently alienating them with a product that was clearly intended for new generations. I'm sorry to my older viewers, but I never liked the old version. It was too wistful, too boring. The flow of this new 2019 version was acceptable to me. It could have probably went a little faster, but overall how the events unfolded didn't make me mad. The monk didn't obstruct White and Green Snake too much when they were dealing with the centipede demon and actually helped them. I like that. By the way, I'm a shipper of Green Snake and Turtle Monk. I know it's never going to happen because of Chinese censorship and what happened to 2018's The Destiny of White Snake almost getting banned, but I think these two are great together. I don't care that that's not what happens in the original. This is 2019 and I want my snake monk pairing, darn it. I also don't mind the plot going off into a demon hunting trio spin-off. I like seeing the three work together to take down the several thousand year old centipede demon. It could have been a formula that worked. Anyways, I think that if the producers hadn't mentioned the 1992 classic version and had this remake just be a standalone adaptation, it would have not been under the same kind of scrutiny that it's receiving right now. Su Xian was a weak scholar in the classic version, but is more courageous and romantic in this new adaptation. Green Snake also has a stronger presence as compared to the classic, having a much stronger little sister role to White Snake than ever before. Finally, the monk has a less villainous role here, which when you think about it makes more sense. He's definitely more 2019 and modern in attitude. When he begins the story, he's black and white about demons, but as the show goes on, he starts to distinguish between demons who harm and those who are benevolent. This is how the modern world is. Just because somebody is born a certain way, in other words a demon, doesn't mean that they're all bad. He's cautious at first but undergoes character development. Can we get a Green Snake Turtle Monk pairing now? Please, please, please? The last main complaint that netizens had was with the casting choices of the main leads. The 1992 cast featured actors and actresses in their 30s, and obviously this 2019 version has a much younger cast. Alan Yu is the oldest at 30, but looking at him, you wouldn't know it. He looks very young and effeminate. 
As mentioned before, Su Xian has always been a weak scholar in other versions, and Bai Su Zen used to handle all his problems. I never really liked this character, and even though they made him more independent and stronger in this adaptation, I still thought he was too flowerly for my taste. I just don't like that kind of male lead, but maybe I'm in the minority about this. Some netizens were also complaining about casting Zhu Jingyi as White Snake, saying she looked too young, too fragile, or too undignified to be Bai Su Zen. To which I say, what? I liked Zhu Jingyi, and I thought she was great in this role. People were saying that it seems like too much of an idol drama to have the leads at this age, when the classic version had older actors and actresses. Not that I have anything against veteran actors, but I do like seeing younger faces in my shows, and Zhu Jingyi and Xiao Yan who plays Green Snake were probably some of the bigger reasons why I was excited about this drama. Overall, I thought the remake was okay. I wouldn't call it innovative because it was nothing like that. It was more of a light-hearted White Snake retelling than perhaps people may have wanted. If you were a purist, you could simply watch the old version of Legend of White Snake instead of hoping for a remake with updated visuals. Think of it like the 2017 Legend of Condor Heroes remake. I'm a purist for the classic version, and when I watch the new one, although it pays a lot of homage to the original and is mostly a faithful adaptation, I didn't watch it through. I already knew what was going to happen, and if I had wanted to see the same thing over again, I would have just watched the original. I have to say that I do like this version of Whitesnake. It's not a groundbreaking serious drama, but it doesn't try to be. It's just a quirky retelling of the old story modified to fit with modern day. This iteration of Bai Su Zen is confident and smart, which can't be said of all the other White Snakes that came before her. The Legend of White Snake 2019 had a lot of expectations when it first came out, and although it didn't quite live up to everything that everyone had anticipated, it certainly isn't as bad as people online are saying. Have you gotten far along watching this drama? What are you guys' thoughts on it? I can say that there were certainly things that I liked and things that I didn't like, but overall, it was trending towards the positive. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. And please, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more drama news updates in the future. Thanks for watching. This is Anton. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.